Hello there, bon dia, buongiorno, dobar dan, good day, whatever. <laughs> I'm hoping you're having a good day because uh, if you're not, you're gonna be having a good day after doing this with me. So today's plan is to do a couple of drills for your front splits. Why am I doing this? Because actually it's not the thing that you, you should be able to do a split. It's not about that. It's about what you will be working on while working to go to the front splits, if that makes any sense, yeah? Because you will be addressing hip flexors, you will be addressing your glutes, you will be addressing your hamstrings, all the things that you need to be healthy, flexible, mobile, and strong enough to be able to, well, be a healthy human being. So let's dig. What you will need is a, well, not a block necessarily, you can like use a really huge book, an encyclopedia perhaps, and you will need a towel or anything that you can slide on. You can also use a socks if you prefer, but I think this is better because maybe it's gonna be uh, like uncomfortable for your heels. First, the block drill. So, we will do hamstrings first. You put a block, well, I'm gonna put it diagonally, I think you're gonna see it better, onto the floor. You put one foot onto the block and make sure that your finger, especially your thumb, is pointing up. The back leg is diagonally placed to the floor because if it's gonna be parallel, you're gonna be falling too much. And if it's gonna be open too much, your hips are not gonna be able to be squared. And they need to be, the coming to the next point, squared as much as possible. So hips squared, shoulders squared. You put one arm on your shoulder blade and you try to go enter into a anterior pelvic tilt, meaning your bum is gonna stick out a bit and you're gonna hinge in your hip. Make sure this hip doesn't go to the back and make sure you're not going with your weight onto the back leg. We want you to be on the front leg with your toe still pointing up. You go as low as you can. Some of you will be able, like maybe, maybe just to do a tilt. Nothing more than this and you will already feel it here. That's fine. Do it as much as you can. Don't go technically bad. Don't lose the form so you can go lower. Don't do that. You fall immediately. So, Find it and just breathe in it. Take a couple of breaths and upon finishing that, you will do like a drill. So you will repeat, repeat 10 times, folding forward and going backward. Of course, I'm not gonna repeat all 10 repetitions with you right now. I'm just here to explain how to do it. So I'm gonna show you the final version. When you repeat it 10 times, try to hold here for at least 10 seconds. Maintaining the anterior tilt, having this leg active, so push the quad, don't let it be floppy, so you're not sitting in your knee. And then, upon staying here for 10 seconds, you can release your back being in that anterior tilt and try to touch your toe with your elbow. Not a lot of people will be able to do this because this is hard enough and this is also a stretch not only for your hamstring but also a trigger of your nervous system. So when you go low, try to breathe there again as deep as you can and as long as you can because this kind of a ending part is mainly for your nervous system to get used to the pose. So you want to take at least five to 10 breaths and to stay in that position as long as you can. Of course, if it's too uncomfortable, just stop and you can progress in time. So this is the first drill. Of course, don't forget to do the other leg as well. Uh, upon finishing that, and before starting the drills that we will do on the floor, uh, you first wanna go in a kneeling position. I'm gonna stand to the side so you see me better. Uh, what we're doing is hip extension. We are gonna do it with doing a posterior pelvic tilt by pulling our pubic bone towards our belly button and by squeezing our glute. You really wanna engage the glute and you really wanna tuck in as much as you can. The rib cage is not floppy here, it's actually going inside. And you hold it for a second or two and release. And again, inhale, I'm gonna put my arms here so you see the, the body better. Exhale, hold and release. Do this five to 10 times on each side, one side. I did it just three, I think. <laughs> and then again on the other side. This will really be intense in your hip flexors, but if it's not and you need it to be deeper because you may be flexible already enough, then I would just suggest upon doing a PPT and doing a um, bum squeeze and pulling up the pelvis, just lean a bit forward. It's gonna get more intense. You will probably start to feel it in the quad as well and also in your hip flexors all the way here. And if you lean to the side for a bit, you will feel it inside your sauce, sauce sorry as well as in your side. So 
This is enough for activation to be able to do the drill. We are doing these things so we can start to do this thing. Now you will be needing definitely a mat or something that's gonna be comfortable for your knee. If you have a pillow, that's also gonna be of highly used. I'm used to being um, on the firm floor, so I'm fine with everything. I can do it without the mat, but I'm gonna do it now with the mat so you just see how it looks like. So you put mat like this, I would suggest like this, and put your knee up. So a couple of tips before we start. The drill that we were doing just before this one, the posterior pelvic tilt and pulling up the pelvis in a kneeling position, is a must. It's like a thing you need to do in this drill we're doing right now. So if you aren't able to do the drill before, don't do this because it's not gonna be of any use. So make sure you are able to do that prior exercise before starting this one. So you pull up your pelvis, you squeeze the bum, and you put your heel onto the towel or what, on whatever you're putting your leg on and you're trying to square your hips not trying you are squaring your hips and you're squaring your shoulder blades not sh shoulders shoulder blades. Oh, okay shoulder blades as well so arms preferably here at the beginning and if you can and you want to do it in a progressed version you can intertwine them and put them on your head please please don't do it on your neck <laughs> just put it here because I want your shoulders to be working as well yeah what you're doing, you're putting your leg in a 45 degree angle. It will probably slide towards the back, so make sure to correct yourself and to reset every now and then when it goes. I will put this block here, that encyclopedia, so I have a measurement of where did I put my leg, yeah? So you can do it as well. And then what I'm doing is I'm sliding there, but I'm not sliding passively. I'm engaging my quad, I'm engaging my leg, I'm pushing the floor with my heel, I'm squeezing my bum, I'm doing a posterior pelvic tilt, I'm closing my ribcage, and I'm existing. <laughs> and doing the drill, of course. And then I'm going down. First go gently, don't go too far. Just try to feel what's happening. Then inhale, and on the exhale, push the floor with your heel and return. If this feels good, try to go a bit lower. Again, inhale, exhale, go up. Of course, don't lean forward, which a lot of you will be doing. Try to lean to the back, not being backwards, just being straight, yeah? And leaning forward for me means your glute is not working, so that's a good like, thing to, to, to notice if, if it's happening. And then, of course, you go again as low as you can and return up. You're doing this 10 times, okay? On the 10th, the last one, you will hold and just breathe here. Hold it, hold it, hold it, squeezing your bum, putting the pelvis in a posterior pelvic tilt, pushing the floor with your heel, and then upon finishing that for at least 10 seconds, you will inhale and on the exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly return back. Okay. So this was one side. Of course, you have to do it on the other side as well. I'm not gonna be doing it on the other side. I'm gonna be doing on the other side something else, just to even my legs. It's gonna be the second drill for your front splits. Um, as far as this second drill for the splits is much harder. So if you're gonna be needing to hold up, hold onto something, it's perfectly legit, maybe a wall, maybe a stick, maybe a block, whatever you need, a friend, I don't know, Fred, the, the, roller, uh, the role that I did a YouTube video as well for you. So whatever you're holding, make sure it helps you because what could happen is you fall into the side. Why? Because this is like kind of really a huge stability challenge for most of the people, even me. Because staying in this position with leg parallel behind me, don't do this, for the ease, yeah? Try to, start, try to stay here. And the block, if it will be used, it could be here or it could be here. I prefer it to be here. I'm gonna explain later why. As in the prior exercise, you are engaging your quads, pushing the floor with your heel, doing a posterior pelvic tilt and squeezing your bum. And then what you are doing is you're trying without any rotations in your hips, or in your upper body to go forward. Most of you will be able maybe to go this far, that's it, and to return. And that's perfectly fine because if you come to here and then do this, we're not hitting what we need to be hitting, yeah. So don't go too far, try to have the control of it. And then when you have the control, we're gonna build it up in time. Be patient with it, okay? For this drill, you will need time. So 
you squish the bum, engage your core, arms can be here or here. I advise you to put the opposite arm of the leg forward because in that way you will be able to push it here so you would feel your ribcage rotating forward so you won't do the thing that I said it should not be done, meaning not being squared anymore. So you're pressing forward, squeezing the bum, engaging the core, pulling this ribcage front, pulling this hip inside, and when you're returning, you're pressing the heel into the floor and engaging pulling actually that hip even more backwards than you already did in the beginning because your body will want to do this and this is really bad for your hip so don't do that try to go like less forward okay i'm going to show it on the other side as well from the side so you just see it so you're here yeah so from the side squeezing the bum engaging the core arms here and you're sliding forward make sure this doesn't happen i know we're repeating this like a parrot but everybody does it so this is enough okay and then return back upon doing that 10 times what you can do is actually like in the la the, the the last drill prior to this one go go lower and instead of just holding allow yourself for the first time for your hips to get unsquared just a bit so you would go lower so if you were squared here just you can do this for like this, 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 this. so you would go lower and then press the floor again and pull up this hip inside and that's it <laughs> and not just that in time you will be able to do front splits better or actually do them what's really really cool is that you will probably clean your floors and that way you will do two things at the same time which is perfect right <laughs> kidding okay anyways hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i don't know have a nice day bye <laughs>